In this video, I'll show you how you can quickly find specific MIDI grooves from your song track in your Grooves MIDI library. So I'm in the Decades Expansion library with the default kit loaded in Superior Drummer 3, and I have a very short MIDI groove I've created. Now, as I put this together, I may have forgotten where I found this MIDI in the Grooves library here. Now, I know that I use the Decades Expansion MIDI for this song track, but I may not recall where it exactly I pulled this MIDI from. I may want to use it in another track or different variations of that in this existing song track. What I can do is right click on any one of these MIDI blocks. We're going to go to find and then select containing folder in grooves. What that will do is take me to the exact groove that I used. Again, let's take a listen to this first section in the song track. And let's listen to this verse one selection that it brought me to. Exactly the same groove with the exception of the cymbal hit, which that is coming from this opening hit, which I have altered. And that's another point too, is even as you make alterations, it's going to remember where you pulled that MIDI from, which is very helpful. I can do the same on this ride section, right click, find selecting container folder. So it's chorus number four. And I can even do that for the fills as well. Right click on a fill, select containing folder. This is fill number three. And finally, the last fill, right click, find, select containing folder. And this is fill number 15. So it's a very quick way for you to keep track of and find the exact MIDI you may have used within your song track. Now, here's why this is especially helpful. I'm going to open up another track here. Let's go back to my second track. I'm going to right click on this first MIDI block. Go to find, select containing folder, verse number one. Let's go to track number four. I'm going to open my song creator, drag this in to my MIDI drop zone, and I'm going to simulate a very large song that I may have created here. So you can see we have a lot of different MIDI parts. Now, especially an elaborate song track like this, you're not gonna recall where you pulled each MIDI from. It may be from different sections of the same song. It may be different MIDI grooves from different libraries within your Grooves MIDI library. So this is an excellent way to quickly find exactly where any one of these MIDI blocks originated from. Simply right click, find, select containing folder, and it's going to take you right to that MIDI groove for that MIDI block. This is a very helpful tool to stay organized when you're creating drum tracks in Superior Drummer 3.